and this is uh, you know something else like regarding like last year or whatever when I you know I went through my awakening I woke up and I healed myself and I felt young and vital and um, I loved myself and I loved my body and I loved life and I loved where I was going and I loved that I could you know that I was going to take off in the van and go on all these adventures and I was going to help the world and yada 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 and then having that random magnetic attraction to someone at the same time that they had that with me and then being betrayed by that but before that I think what that did was it was an external facet validating my newness like the new me the the one that had not felt so good felt so young felt so loving towards everyone and um, you know I'd never been that person before and I'd never you know I was so different from who I used to be and then I think it's because like that new me that real me or whatever I felt like I think you know I'm just going through another possibility here but I think I felt validated as that new person that new person was validated that new me was validated and that betrayal like the, the fact that it was all a joke and that you know it was all to pull me pull that new me back into line and um, yeah I think that the betrayal of that was sort of like uh, realizing that clearly the universe is showing me where I don't love myself and that the fact that it knocked me off my stocks like took me so by shock and surprise and everything like that is because I just couldn't believe anyone could be so cruel but I also was part of that you know and how I was I feel like I can understand a lot more about other people who go through the similar thing where they're validated by someone I just talk about every relationship here so you know like they're validated by someone they open their soul to someone they they trust someone and that trust is broken and they then feel invalidated as a human being and then they get fixated on that person validating them again instead of looking inside and going okay well obviously it's some somewhere in me like it shouldn't matter so there's something in me that is not validating myself you know it's that's saying I'm less than and um, that's why it's been important to do the work on myself you know work out where I don't love myself and all that kind of stuff but there was a time shortly afterwards where I'm like okay here's my new year's resolutions and I'm gonna start doing this and this and this and this and basically get back on track and another youtuber said oh you're just gonna start the same loop again I'm like at that time I was so freaked out by everything that was happening so shocked that I could end up in such a uh, you know a mind-blowing situation that I didn't ever think was possible like it was just so random and unexpected and um, shocking to me and I, I was just like looking for anyone anyone to try and get me back on track and when he said that I was just gonna do that I, I believed him and I didn't and I ended up um, hibernating <laughs> but I really should have got back into the like it's all about you know if you love yourself you're basically then sharing love with other people and you're being love and you're being that which you want the world to be taking a, a year and a half off looking after myself um, look at my bags under my eyes like this is me without makeup but you know you got bags under my eyes you got like um, redness and acne and um, fat um, layers of defense systems and just not taking care not exercising not living not getting the energy moving not putting life force living foods in your mouth and and anything that you do to improve your own worth in yourself to show that you are grateful for life and that you're grateful for your body and you're grateful for this experience and all that kind of stuff like gratitude and actually intending a better life is really key it's so key but we just huh, I didn't realize how much external validation I needed but then I think everybody is our reflection as well like everybody you know the way that you feel like people are seeing you is actually part of you seeing yourself as not all you can be and that is you know more to work on
I know that to improve the world kind of thing that I have to be the change that I want to see in the world that still hasn't changed even with all the, the crap that's happened I still know that you have to be true to your soul and not just take the easy way out sometimes it, it takes hard work to get back on track but then it's easy because it's part of your life it's part of your being it's who you are and that which you don't like about who you are is the things that you need to work on that's life that's part of the experience here part of the many different aspects of this experience here but if you're taking on a perspective like I have that I've been you know walking into that workplace as a lesser being and allowing myself to have that experience of um, being off my pedestal you know taking my ego on a little journey of wow shame you know guilt humiliation ugliness fatness lowness really knocking myself off that pedestal and that's why I probably haven't been doing the YouTube videos either it's probably because I felt like what message have I got to share you know so I've really got to get myself back on track and I don't mean back on track because it's on, I'm on a completely different path now but it's still I can see how you know these bumps in the road sort of help you because I didn't you know I was also living a life of fear and I didn't even realize it until I was forced you know like a punch in the face forced to look at where I don't love myself even though I felt like the most loving being on the universe that I was connected to everything and blah 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 but now it's given me more understanding about other people um, why they become you know insane sometimes you know I don't have the answers for other people I can do is work on myself but I really had to look deep this time I had to look deeper than I've ever had to ever gone even when I thought that you know, I've spent my whole life working on personal development self-development and things like that now now like this year and a half has been digging digging deeper than I've ever gone before working out those kinks and I haven't worked on as much as I could like because I didn't place any importance on the lifestyle pace factor I pay, placed all my importance on trying to stabilize myself which is important and really observe where I am in regards to the way that I think other people are seeing me now I feel for for one I'm happy that I'm now taking steps towards my calling which is you know light workers which is helping others that I can work on every day knowing that I'm making a meaningful difference but it's not about external validation in that regard it's more about gaining back validation in myself like I don't even care if I never get paid for it it's more about I'm following my calling I'm doing right by my soul and that is a step towards whatever it's on the path it's on the path when I'm doing that versus any alternative to that any alternative to that you know you need to have you know, this service to others thing needs to take an extra step in that this service to others thing is about the service to others by following what feels in your heart and your soul to be in alignment to your being and improving your being always and yeah I've, done, I've totally been off track and I I'm starting I'm starting to wake up as I move closer to my calling like I'm not super excited like I should be or like I used to be about this path but it feels so much more in alignment to who I really am at the core like you know who I am behind the mask I give the world so it feels like the right step it feels like you know if I were to die soon that is what I would want to be doing before I die so it's a, like a legacy thing but it's more like following what's true to who you are so not about external validation so much but realizing that that was such a big part of why things were so brutal it is because of that I, that lack of self-worth that I didn't even realize was there because I was the happiest I've ever been and I, so I couldn't 
I couldn't even put that in the picture until so much time has gone past and I can reflect back on other people's experiences, the relationships that have broken down, the, the things, the crazy things people do when their love is broken down and I'm understanding it a lot more, looking at it through the eyes of someone watching that third party and seeing which aspects of that I can resonate with in the same situation that I was in, even though mine was not a relationship. It was supposed to, it was just totally not about that. It was me thinking that I can save somebody and going a little bit too far outside of my own soul's comfort zone, but thinking that that's what, because um, I was crazy, <laughs> thinking that's what I was there for. But now I realize I'm not here to save people in a way where I see someone, I feel sorry for them, I want to lift them up and give them that space to be all who they are. I need to be and give myself space to be all I can be and also be that, like literally from a space of not so high in the sky, but from this grounded, real space, I can improve myself and, and naturally I will um, work out the kinks in where I was looking for external validation. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to see what, what my mind was thinking. I guess that's what it's thinking at the moment.